Hey there, welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. This week, we're gonna make the Nativity Wreath. This has been out here for a while on the internet and I'm gonna share with you how I would make it. So, let's get started. All right, welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Let's make a Nativity Wreath. Yes, you are seeing two different signs here or two um, different nativ nativities. Um, these were both purchased at Walmart. I will try to see if I can get a link and put it in the description box below, but use whatever means you're seeing that you want. This is what was available to me, so I'm gonna try, and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. That's why I have both of them. They were both, um, I think, $4.98 a piece, which I really felt like was a good price, and it's made out of like an MDF, so you can, we can drill in some little pieces or put a staple, I put a test stapler there, um, to kind of attach it to the wreath. So that's what we're going to use for the signs. Not sure which one. We're also going to be using this burlap. Um, this I got from the wreath shop. You can order it from there as well. I have a link in the description box below. And I also got three of these. Um, oh, I think it's, it has a denim name of blue. I just like this color blue. I feel like it goes really well with the tan and I think it'll be really pretty. So you can get that from the wreath shop as well. And you can check out Trendy Tree and um, Mel's Crafty Mojo and all my links are in the description box. So check those places out. Now for a frame, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use this 18 inch wreath frame that I got from Walmart. Again, I'll try to leave you a link. And some of you might be saying, but Julie, Dollar Tree has a wreath form. Well, I did get that one out and I had considered using it, but here's my issue. The Dollar Tree um, 18 inch wreath form only has one wire in the center and the methods that we're gonna need are gonna require two wires in the center. So that's why we're not gonna use this, but if you have a different method of putting it on, maybe you wanna do the curl technique or, or whatever, you could do that, then you could definitely use the Dollar Tree. But for today, we're gonna use this one right here. And again, I will try to have a links for everything that I can in the description box below with all of my links to my social medias and all there, all that good stuff. Um, before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us along. If you love to craft, we'd love to have you. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna take two of these rolls and I believe these have like 10 yards in them. Um, they have quite a bit of burlap. So what we're gonna do is basically, I've done this before where you take one side of your um, mesh or your burlap in this case on each side of your wire and you just are gonna keep bringing it up, okay? And then you're gonna be bringing it back here like so, okay? And you're gonna keep doing that. Here's another step. Um, that my friend Melissa that I learned from her, I'll have to share her video. She took um, Melissa from Halo Designs, I believe. But she, I remember her taking this and I thought, you know, that is a really good idea. So you're gonna just kind of like lay them here. You're gonna lay them like this and we're gonna bring both of these up the middle, okay? And then you're gonna bring one up the side on one side here and one on the other side, okay? This will save you just a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure those are nice and even, and then I just like to take a zip tie and connect to the zip, um, the burlap to the frame, so to speak. You could use a pipe cleaner, so we're gonna do one there, and we're gonna do one here, okay? But this will save you just a little bit of time. I will leave um, Melissa's video link in the description box below and you can go watch her video. So cut these. All right, so that gets us started, okay? So that's why I said you want two of these rolls, all right? And you're just gonna bring them and when you bring them up, you're gonna, you're gonna scoot them back, okay? And we're going to create a ruffle look, all right? So here is the thing, burlap can be messy, can be very messy. <laughs> now this burlap here is like five inches wide. So we're just gonna kind of like work with it. We want the sky to be bigger than the sand, okay? Cause this is the bottom, this is the ground, all right? 
We don't want it to be bigger. At least that's what we're gonna do. Now my good friend Melissa, we're gonna talk about two Melissas today. Melissa from On The Porch Designs. Um, I contacted her and I've I've done wreaths that she has inspired before and, um, and centers and everything. And she has a YouTube channel, so make sure you go check her out. Um, this is how she makes hers. So if you're like, Julie, I wanna buy one of those wreaths, I want you to go to Melissa's site and you could buy one from her if, if that's what you want to do. Um, so I'm going to leave her links in the description boxes below as well. Her YouTube channel and her Etsy and Facebook. Okay. So when we get to the end of the first section here, and again, you don't have to do it this way. You could do one side and then come back and do the other. I just like the thought of saving a little bit of time. I just want to make sure that this is nice and full. Okay, we got everything about the way we want. You're gonna pull a little bit if it does if it seems a little uneven. So now we've got that bracket. We're not gonna let that get in the way. We're gonna pull these two up together. All right, and then you're gonna take the side one here and bring it through that one and bring the side one through here. Okay, and you don't need to add another zip tie we the one zip tie that we started is enough let's see here this one's getting a little twisted so let's fix her all right and you're just going to keep going so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the third bracket here so we're only going to do three brackets and then i'll come back and we'll start on the blue okay so as you can see we have done three sections here i'm going to cut these now but before i cut them I'm going to place um, some zip ties just like we did before at the beginning. We're going to do at the end here. So before I cut them, I'm just going to do this. And then that way we know everything's going to stay nice and in place. All right. So we're going to do this side. I'm going to move out the burlap. I put a lot of burlap in there. <laughs> so hold on. And then just cut these off and then we'll come back and we will work on the next section. Okay, so let's do the second part. Um, you could do the same method. You could roll out two rolls and do this together. I'm not going to do that just because um, deco mesh is a little bit more temperamental than burlap. Burlap's kind of got, you can kind of have some give to it. <laughs> but doing the same exact thing, we're going to roll this out. Let's put this kind of under here. And I'm going to start on the inside here and then we'll work our way out. But we are just going to take and you're going to take one side and one side and you're going to go through each side here. So you've got one in the middle, the outer bracket, the next one, and then you're going to spring it. And we're just going to do the same exact thing. Now, if you want, you could get your wood burner out and you could cut the edge if, if you, that makes you feel better. I'm not going to do it because by the time we have it all pushed, I really don't think it's going to make a big difference. But again, use what you want. And um, I get my wood burner and my all my tools that you, you'll see me using here in my Amazon shop. And you can check um, that out in the description box below. So you're just going to keep pulling. Now I'm going to pull my sleeves up because Deco Mesh loves to get caught on clothes. <laughs> And if you've, if you've done with deco mesh, you know, you know, you know. I think this is gonna be a really pretty blue. And you're just gonna kind of play with it. Now this is gonna be um, a little deeper than this. That's okay, that's what we're, what we're going for here. Because this is to represent the sky. And we're gonna actually put lights in this as well. So I'm just gonna keep pulling. Get all your frustrations of the day out on this. Now I do like this mesh that I got, got from the reshop and the mesh that I get from Trendy Tree and from um, Mel's Crafty Mojo. It's just really good mesh. So that's where I recommend you buy it. So you're going to pull it and we're almost to the end here. We're going to kind of look at it. I think we could get a little bit more in there. So I'm just gonna keep pulling it. So when we get to that little bracket, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna go underneath of it and come right back up. We're gonna keep doing the same process. Okay, so if you can see it, that's the first layer, okay? 
So now we're gonna do a second layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back where we started and now we have that ring. So I'm gonna take my mesh. I had to get into the second roll to finish that up. And we're just going to take one side over here and then one side over here, okay? And then we're just gonna bring it up the same way. You're gonna go around the whole wreath and then um, you're gonna cut it and then just it'll just sit there. So um, if you have to add another roll, I cut it and I used a little zip tie just to kind of, I'll show you what I mean. Right here, I just kind of added it right there and then started again. So that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna just keep ruffling and then the next thing will be the lights we're gonna put on. Okay, so we have the top of it done, but I what I did was I just cut it off here. And so basically we're just going to bring those two pieces up until they come all the way up. You're just gonna pull on each side here and then that's gonna end it for you. Okay, so we're gonna take these little lights that I got from, um, where did I get these from? Walmart. <laughs> I had to think about it for a moment there. You could use twinkle lights, you could use um, anything that's got like a battery powered operated system will work here. I'm gonna use these because this is a wire and I just feel like I can make this stick into the, um, oh, the mesh a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our batteries. It's got a timer and everything. So I'm gonna take it and we are going to zip tie it right here, okay? I'm gonna take some zip ties here. I might need to do two, but I need to make it so that whoever puts this on their door <laughs> can access it and then they can just if they have to they can take take it off and just put new batteries in it and then you know keep it going so i'm just going to do two zip ties here can you see what i'm doing here i don't know if you can all right i'm going to do that and then that will lay up against the door it'll lay flat so it's just on to the side here and there's plenty of mesh there to cover it so i'm going to cut my little zip ties off and then i'm just going to take my twinkle lights let's turn them on i don't know if you're going to see them let's see i don't want a flashing let's just do yeah there we go all right so we're going to do this you're just going to take it, depending on what kind of lights, you may need to zip tie these down into the mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up in between where we put our mesh. You know, we came up through the... I'm just going to kind of stick them in there. I might need to take like, like right there that would be a good spot to take a little zip tie and just attach it ever so often so it doesn't fall out on you all together. You can see a little um, Chanel stem would work here, a little piece of wire, but we don't need a ton of lights in this, but this one I think has like 36. So I'm just gonna go through all of this and maybe kind of go let's zip let's go through oops I got got it on here and I'm just gonna lay it wherever I can so like right here we're gonna go over and I'm gonna find a spot to just zip tie it to the frame okay so I think you can see the lights it's really pretty but you know Julie Julie loves to change my mind and I always like to add stuff. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add stuff. Um, <laughs> since I have, I have so much of this left, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make another ruffle and we're just gonna see, we're gonna add it to the outer rim here. So I'm just gonna cut this burlap. And what you can do too, is you could spray some Mod Podge spray on this and that will help um, 
what you call it, you know, seal your edges. So all I'm going to do is I, because I just feel like I want something a little bit more, I'm going to start it right there. Okay. And then I'm going to add a zip tie. So let's get out some zip ties here. Hope that you can see it. So I'm going to do this. I don't want to flip the whole wreath over, but what we will do here with this one, since we are adding kind of an extra row here, we're going to just keep going through here to about halfway. All right. So when it lays on the door, you know, it's going to come down a little bit longer. Okay. My sand, my ground, I guess is what you want to call it. The floor of the stable. So, and I think that that will just kind of add just a little bit more depth to our wreath. And so we're just going to keep going here. And if you want, you could add more zip ties back here but I don't really think that you're gonna need to. So I'm just gonna keep going and add just a little bit more, kind of like almost like a ruffle at the, at the edge of the collar, almost of the, if you wanna put it that way. Okay, so we need to make the star and I kinda looked all over and I found these at the Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna use this. I'm just gonna get rid of, you know, some of it here but I don't need all of that. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get my heavy duty wire cutters here. Let's see if these will work. And we are gonna clip that off. I mean, for a buck, probably a good idea to wear safety goggles or something. So we're gonna throw that away because we don't need it. There's still a little piece, so I'm gonna try to get that. There we go, it went flying across the room. Okay, so I think that's a really pretty star for a dollar. It's gonna be glittery, but we're gonna do um, a little thing that I've always done. Let's see if this is too big. Just cut a piece of felt, trim that down just a bit. Take a piece of wire. I'm gonna take my glue gun here. Again, everything can be found on, on Amazon in my description box below. So anyhow, love that glue gun. All right, so I'm gonna take my wire. I don't even know if you can see the wire in um, the camera, but I'm just gonna bend it. Come on, there we go. <laughs> and I'm just gonna set it down in that glue. And I'm gonna take my piece of felt and we're just gonna like lay it over top, all right? And we're gonna put something heavy in that maybe. Oh, what do I got? And I'm gonna let that dry, okay? So we're gonna put this to the side and then we're gonna put on our star in a moment. But just let that set up. You could even use, well, this is Gorilla Glue Sticks that I love to use. Again, I get it on Amazon. But you could use E6000, like if you lived in a warm climate. I got a glue <laughs> a strand. So that's another thought for you, okay? And they do sell that epoxy glue, that like um, super glue and it's an epoxy and it's like two pieces. But again, use that outside, don't, don't do that inside. Okay, so I just filmed a clip and then I had to redo it because I put in the zip ties the totally the wrong way. So I, I don't have a, you know, something to shimmy that out. So I'm just gonna leave them because who cares? Um, you're not gonna see them. But I had put them this way, and then when you go to put them this way, I couldn't move it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, we're going to try it this way. We're going to put the flat side of our um, zip tie down there. I'm going to use a stapler, okay? You can use um, these little things as well. You could put, like, drill a little hole and then put those in and use those to attach. Um, are those, like, eye hooks or something? I think that's, that's what those are called could do it that way. I'm going to try it this way because I'm going to, you know, because I can, because this is wood and it's pretty thick, this wood. So I'm going to do another one here. Make sure it stays up. Oh, see, I'm really bad about, there we go. <laughs> I always go through the zip tie. Don't want to do that. So let's do this on this side about the same. This is the Fiskars, just like a little bit easier to handle than the heavy duty ones, you know, that we use for big projects. 
I know. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get it. Goodness, Julie. Let's try it. There you go. I got it there. All right. So let's try this again. <laughs> Take two. All right. So this is going to be a good size wreath. It's going to be about 27 inches in diameter. So basically we're going to put it down here. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over. So I just want to kind of see, does that look about right? I think so. And I went with this one just because I just like the way it looked inside. So let's flip that over and I'm going to push it down. Okay, come on. So that the zip tie is going to go on the other side here. I want to make sure you can see all that. Okay. I almost need a pair of pliers the way that I'm doing this. There you go. I don't want to do it all the way yet. I want to give it some, some give so that I can turn it over and make sure we're not crooked. Make sure you can see this. Okay. We're going to use something else to kind of attach the, the up here too, but let's flip it over and see what it looks like. All right. So I think, let me stand up. I'm gonna fluff up our guy, our burlap here. And a lot of that burlap is gonna cover the bottom of our nativity. And I just think that's pretty and rustic, okay? So I'm gonna pull on this some more. Pull on this one some more. But here's our issue, it's gonna lay back. And if you want to, you can have that, that it, it, it will stay, okay? But if you want it to come out a little bit, what we're gonna do is this. Let's cut off these zip ties here. Flip it over. All right. Kind of get it where you want it. I think we can probably do this one just a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna do the zip ties, take those off. All right. This wouldn't hurt to take a piece of felt. Let's see here, hold on. I would take a piece of felt and I would glue them over here because I'm not gonna put a backing on the back of this wreath, but I don't want the ends of the zip tie touching the door, okay? So that's really important. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take um, fishing wire, wire or what, what, what would you call it? String line, fishing line. So you're going to take that fishing wire and you're going to go around like the post here. It's kind of probably hard to see. So on this frame, I need to find out where the bracket is because we need that bracket to be an anchor. So I, here's the bracket. So we're going to go up here. You might, you know, you could even take a little um, needle or something if you need it. Go through there so that it has an anchor. Because if you put it right here, I tried putting it right here and honestly, it just slides down. So it kind of defeats the purpose of using it and, and trying to anchor it. So you're just gonna make a few knots and then you're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just try to do it just about enough. Okay, so I ended up putting a staple in the back of this fishing wire. And then I'm going to go on both sides here because it just so happens that we have a bracket here. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to be a little bit more happier about it because I put it on this side and, you know, I just wasn't feeling it. So we're going to try it this way. And I think this will do the trick. And you could even use a piece of yarn if you wanted to, if, if that's what you want to do. But here I am trying to be fancy using fish and wire. So let's see if this will work. One, two, there we go. That one should stay. All right, so then that way it's gonna stay put. You know, you don't wanna pull on it or anything, but I think it'll work. So after we've already, you know, we have dealt with this so many times, I kinda like the little fraying at the bottom. It just kinda gives to the stable feel of this wreath. So let's get our star out and you're just going to put it in the top here and I'm going to turn it around. Just going to find the spot you want it. I'm going to go through the mesh with your wire. Okay. 
Yeah, that looks good. And then you're just going to twist the back. So, if you made it this far in the video and you watched all the way through, and I so appreciate it, would you leave me a star in the comments? I think this is going to be really pretty and such a special um, wreath to make. And again, you've got your battery pack over here. You can just simply turn it on and off. But here it is. Our sign is laying a little bit back, but I think by the time we get it on the door, I don't think that's going to be the issue at all. You could always maybe put something in the back here if you wanted to make a little block and just like zip tie it to the back of the frame and it might set up a little bit more. But I honestly, I think from my angle, I just see it differently right now. But if you enjoyed this video, leave me a star, leave me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, hang around a little bit, and we will learn some really cute um, and neat DIYs from wreaths to painting to all sorts of things. Um, but I would love to have you on the journey. So until next time, we'll see you in Julie's Wreath Boutique.